So I am doing a little series on how to go from couch potato to being a th an athletic person who is not averaging at less than 5,000 steps per day. But anyways, I just left my car charging and I just uh, finished going to the gym and I parked at the Boca Raton Mall and I'm gonna go get a little smoothie, protein smoothie from the Nordstrom Cafe. One of the things that I wanted to share is that a lot of times that I was feeling kind of like low energy, it was because I wasn't eating enough and I've been learning a lot about the female physiology and we've been taught so much about how to calorie restrict that for me, for example, oh, I'm working out, I feel great, da da da, but I don't take the same amount of time to measure out. I'll measure out how long I'm gonna work out, but I don't measure out how much food I need after I work out. I just kind of go and eat whatever, but I'm not measuring out the most important things, which are like protein and carbs and fats, like all of the macros matter and one of the biggest things i've learned is for women we, we, you would always hear like oh you should eat your protein within 45 minutes of working out well for women it's actually within 30 minutes of working out I'm out of breath because i literally just left the gym but i'm also trying to get my protein within the time and listen i'm not stressed like <laughs> I'm showing you kind of like the urgency because something that is really important is for you to have like this good relationship with the gym. You don't want to feel like every time you go, you're just exhausted. So fuel up. Well, it's not a full meal and it is lunchtime for me technically. I'm just gonna get this movie because I have a ton of stuff that I wanna get done today and I need the energy and I'll eat at home. They have these a ton of smoothies. And also another thing for like movement and all of that, you want to take account of those extra calories. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? How can I be? Good. Let me have the peanut Hello. butter peanut butter and protein smoothie. smoothie. Yes. And I think without the dark chocolate. No dark chocolate? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and tell me your name. Fanny. Hi, Spider. Thank you. Hi, Spider. Oh, I'm sorry. Fanny, F-A-N-N-Y. Yes, thank you. Great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. Sorry. It's better to fuel than to be under fueled because that definitely, for me, I've noticed that it promotes more of the couch potato -iness to just sit and consume because my body is literally trying to conserve energy. It makes sense. I'm waiting for my little smoothie now. And also, all right, just got my smoothie. Let's rate it. Wow. Smoothie thickness is literally 10 out of 10. Undeniably. They don't use a sweetener like protein, like a sweetened protein, which I literally can't stand. I can't stand the stevia and flavor crap peanut butter is very they they did a great job this really is a 10 out of 10 from the Nordstrom cafe anyways feeling not feeling guilty about how much food I'm eating or anything like that right now I am just trying to enjoy the process and not focusing on the outcome just being present literally that's all and that's that's when you're going through a fitness journey i feel like when you haven't been like successful doing it long term it's just like anything in life when you go out and do it do you enjoy the process of doing it because the result won't matter unless you actually enjoy the process to get there it makes so much sense i can't believe i was literally missing that anyways that was my little tidbit now I gotta rush home because the hubby has to go to the dentist and I need to upload these videos.